that's Alex behind me. And I was just observing this. I love the woodwork on this station. The last time we were here was, uh, again, ages ago. Too long ago. They didn't have this really nice woodwork. But our plan is to take the cable car up and then um, find one of the paths to walk down. Um, and then there's a hot spring right down here. So really keep it light. But there's the map that we're going to take. And there's two ways to go up. You can take a cable car or you can take a chairlift. And we'll do the cable car. So I'm at the cable car station. It's a really beautiful day. So I have a concern that if I take the cable car to the top, I'll be frozen. And so I'm decided to walk up the hill. There's a semi. I'm talking to the video camera and I'm walking up the hill out Mount Takao. And I'm thinking to myself, this road is wide enough for people, but I think you can stick a small car on it too. So we're climbing up the mountain already. Taking off. I'm all hot. I'm, a, I'm a halfway up the hill. To the bottom, I was uh, cold. I've had to take my jacket off and hat and everything. It's just amazing. I thought yesterday this was too cold to go hiking up, but I am steaming hot right now. Power of hiking in the winter. It's beautiful. Oh, we just got to, I think, the top. Well, it's not the top. It's where the, I think the cable car comes up. But what we're enjoying is, look at it, it's all flat. Uh, the last, I don't know, however long, we're just walking straight up. Look at me. I'm at the top of the mountain. I'm just wearing a shirt and another layer, and I'm, I'm really hot toasty hot. You can see how red my face is. But, um, this is what I like about Japan. My favorite thing about Japan is hiking in the mountains. One last thing. Right at the top, we got all those vending machines to choose from. There are munchies to eat on. This is a nice view. You can see, it's hard to see because it's so bright, but that's Tokyo in the background. Oh, and we got um, here at the top. This is the stuff I like. And a rotator round. Oh, mochi. Oh, look at that. Really yummy. Those are great hiking food. Oh, thank you. I can't hold on both. Yeah. How is it? Mmm. 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 Yummy. <laughs> Interesting haircut that it has. It looks sort of like a gremlin. You got that gremlin look. You know that? You kind of look like a gremlin. But I don't. It's interesting that you got a haircut on your in the winter. Oh, this is one of the stops. Well, that's, it's so nice. The weekend, it's, this is so much busier. This 
thing looks like a ladder, but it's actually a little track system that comes down to the bottom so that it can carry different things up the mountain. This is one of many stairs. Always end with a nice little temple. We go around him, and there'll probably another flight of stairs to go up. So, top of some sort of hill, and walking along some sort of it's like highway. Look at that. They must get a lot of people coming down here because we're at the ridge and we've got this really nice paved type of road and it's still a bit soft it's not too hard like a car road so this is a uh, mount de cow probably destroying the spelling but i don't know if you can see in the horizon but there's Mount Fuji. It's looking really nice. It's Mount Fuji. Wow. I've seen it on the video. Hopefully it picks it out. I think it's hard to see the scale of a volcano. It looks this massive. Okay, that's a better shot. But it's hard to see. And I'll try to zoom in and keep it steady, but gorgeous, addictive mountain. This is a cedar forest of some sort. In the summertime, when you walk through these, it's such a relief because the cedar is acts as a natural repellent so it's always bug free here but if you smell or you take a deep breath you can smell the cedar that's a perk of hiking through a cedar park up here you can see the look at a mini truck mini excavator and that little mini truck can get on this tiny little road to fix it up. Oh, it's so cute. Got mini truck. Look at this thing. Mini, oh, like mini tank. Oh, that's so great. hiking partners behind me but most of the time you get a lot of retired folks hiking here the thing is what happens is you get retired folks that are in their 80s or 90s and they're just passing me on the trail not a big deal for them but we're in Mount Takao so you gotta you got retired folks and you got people that are come with their shopping bags and I think that's what we have behind us we have a looks like teenagers and they're sharing an earphone, listening to the music as they walk along the hiking trail here. And there we have Alex walking down, dancing with her hands. Some sort of statue. I think it's a monkey. No, it's not. Alex doesn't believe me that it's a monkey. Something else. Anyways, it's got red bean in it. These are the kind of snack things that one must get when you're in, you know, in this country. And they make it in a. It's like a. It's like a waffle. 
Wait, red bean center. Mm. Alex is actually running down. I can't keep up with her. She's a marathon runner, so I was running a little bit, but forget it. I can't keep up with her. Look at that. She's cruising. I think we'll probably do this again so she can run. Okay, we're on our way down from Mount Takao. And instead of walking down these steep ways, we're running. And again, I'm super hot. You would think going downhill uh, would be less workout, but if you run, it's just as much workout as going uphill. I have a feeling uh, tomorrow we're going to be sore. Um, going uphill, it's the calves, and going downhill, it's going to be the thighs that are just going to be screaming with pain. But it's all for a good cause. More workout means more beer, more yummy food. Hiking is the best workout, best gym in the world. <sighs> Hopefully, let's see how things go here. Impossible to keep this camera stable. I'm holding an iPhone. What do you expect on a beautiful path? And I can confirm that this path, I was saying it was wide enough for a car, and after I had finished that video, a uh, car came down. So it's not only a path for people, it's also a mini highway for the houses and all that at the top of the hill. And this is near the end of the trail. Definitely made it down faster than going up. Because most of it was we ran down. Oh, there's Alex waiting for me. Yeah. Can you pay? How much is it? Yeah, this is my favorite. This fishy thing. Mmm. Getting one of these trout things. It's got salt and I don't know, they put barbecue on it or something. Huh. Yep. Ah, very good. Mmm. I'll do this. Here's the fish. <laughs> The great thing is, it's just salt and barbecued trout, I think. You can eat the whole thing, bones and everything, no problem. Good hiking food. So this is, yeah, this is a, a this is so neat. There's a, so we're at the bottom of Mount Takao and they've got an onsen. This is what, when I talk about hiking in this country, what you want to do is you want to plan your trips, your hiking trips, so that they have a, at the end of your trail, you can do a hot spring bath. It's the best way to end a, a hot, sweaty hike. And it's not bad. The rate is a thousand for on a regular season. This is definitely not high season. Uh, if you have a tattoo, forget it. You can't come in if you have a tattoo. But that's not the case. No tattoos for me. So I had the bath, and um, this is this uh, sauna or. Onsen is part of the, I think the Kyo, uh, yeah, Kyo train line. So it's a private uh, train company. And this is actually the second of this style of uh, onsen I've been in. Uh, there was the first one I went to was two years ago in Yokohama. And what the train company did is they took a section of their train track and underneath it, they reused it and turned it into a, a in onsen and it looks like they've done the same thing over here because the last time I was in this area I didn't they didn't have this onsen so it's it's pretty neat the the, the company provides 
these really nice uh, uh, onsens to the public along all along their the train line. I would imagine that there's probably other uh, spots that they have in the different parts of, of Yokohama and Tokyo and wherever their train lines uh, operate. The they had at this this place they had two indoor baths and they had uh, four outdoor baths, each with a different theme. Um, one was in uh, Cyprus, so it was a Cyprus tub, huge tub. Another was a carbonated tub, and that felt like if you were in soda water, that's what it felt like. And actually, probably the, my favorite uh, experience with a, with a hot bath, because you just sat there and bubbles just formed all around you, and you don't know where they're coming from, but it's a very, you got to try it. Come up here to this area, definitely try out the, that, that bath. And then the other uh, two baths were basically a hot spring bath at two different temperatures. One was at a lower temperature and one was at a uh, much higher temperature of uh, 42 degrees. On that one, I could only stick in halfway. I couldn't go the whole way. If, if there was snow around and it was really cold, yeah, I could go the whole way. But today, it's, it's, not, that, it's not that cold. So um, now the bath, my bath is done. Um, I'm in the, I guess the cafeteria area. Yep, this is the best way to, to do hiking. Um, I'll be curious because next year I'll be in Europe. Um, and the first in, I'll be living in Denmark. And I'm gonna be exploring the hiking that you see in uh, Norway and Sweden, um, eventually also Austria and Switzerland. And I'll be curious about what type of, um, if they have these type of things, hot springs at the end of the hiking route. I'll be also curious about their cabin structures and how they support hikers uh, for long, long stretch hikes. There's a tatami mat section for seating and um, that requires you to take your shoes off. Um, actually, none of us are wearing our shoes. Before you come into an onsen, you have to take your shoes off, put them into little lockers. Uh, and so you're walking around, everyone's walking around in their socks. But uh, the area I'm sitting in is for sitting on chairs. And then the tatami area is more sitting um, what I consider Indian style. So if you know how to hit sit with your legs crossed, then that, that type of sitting is easy. Um, I can say I'm fortunate because I grew up in South Asia and that's something I learned. But if you've never done it before, it's very difficult. Um, in the back over here, in the back corner, there's, a, there's actually a nap room. And you can just uh, go in there and it's the same as the, the tatami mats over here. But you just lie down, take a nap. Trouble with me taking a nap is I snore so loud that I'd probably scare everyone away. Um, so I try to avoid that. I'll, I'll stick to power naps and that's about it.